We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies. And in this clip, I'll cover actor Henry Winkler. He's known for his roles in such films as The Lords of Flatbush, 1974. He was known as Fonzie on Happy Days on television, 1974 through 1984. He was on Laverne and Shirley, also, 1976 through 77, and 1979. He was also active in television production. He was executive producer on MacGyver on television, 1985. It ran for seven seasons with Richard Dean Anderson. So I took a look at Henry Winkler. I believe he may resemble personalities surrounding the 1953 film How to Marry a Millionaire. Actor Humphrey Bogart and Marilyn Monroe. There is some material that you can search on the premiere of this film. This was on November 4th. 1953. All right, connections. Actress Misty Rowe. She played Wendy, a car hop at Arnold's Drive In in Happy Days. She was in eight episodes in season two. She played actress Marilyn Monroe in two movies. Goodbye, Norma Jean, 1976. This was directed by Larry Buchanan. And in a follow-up film, Goodnight, Sweet Marilyn, 1989. After Ron Howard was in Happy Days, he was also in the television series Andy Griffith. And I found this interesting item. Both Marilyn Monroe and Andy Griffith they were born on the very same day, June 1st, 1926. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is easteregguy, that's G-U-Y, at yahoo.com. Yes, I do accept Bitcoin donations. I'll put my Bitcoin wallet on screen. All you have to do is scan this. You can send as much Bitcoin as you like if you know how to use Bitcoin. And any contributions are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.